Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You look at the Spurs. They're down in the bottom of the conference. Their fans hope they can turn it around and show some improvement. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And for the Spurs, they've got Keldon Johnson. He's out there with Victor Wembenyama. And it's Sohan in at the one spot. So this is the first of two games, Greg, that these teams will play in a row. One after the other. Very tough. And, you know, Kevin, I find these little mini-series really interesting. That you get to see how teams react to one another and see how they adjust, much like you do in the postseason. And it's going to be San Antonio off the tip. Pass to Johnson. Spurs passing it around. Here's Wimbenyama. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Brzingis. And the rookie turning up the intensity. Wimbenyama absorbs the foul there on the shot. It's his first trip to the line. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. And so he makes both from the line. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles, really, since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations. But he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. And the Spurs with possession after Jason Tatum missed on that last three-pointer. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here is Holiday. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Bangs home the trifecta. The more Porzingis proves himself a threat as a passer, the more dangerous he can become as a scorer. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. The pass to Wembenyama. And it's in there. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. So it's Boston now, following the bucket by the Spurs. And here's Tatum for three. Frames the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to be on Victor Wembenyama. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. And that one falls for Tatum. From the moment Jason Tatum stepped into this league, he has been a guy who has wanted the burden offensively, and he has delivered. Here's Sohan looking at his point production. He averages almost 11 points a game from 12 feet out. Collins kicks to Vassell. Passes it to Johnson from downtown. Rebounded by the Celtics. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. 
just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. San Antonio foul. Rhino. First personal foul. Second team foul. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Johnson, the pass to Sohan. Here's Branham. Here's Johnson. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. That one goes. Count it. Can't allow Johnson to get that deep. Once he's there, he's going to be able to score. White finds Holiday. Al Porzingis. He's guarded by Collins. Outside Holiday. Lock at six. The three from Tatum. Collins grabs the miss. The Spurs have gone two for four from the field so far. To Branham, lets the three fly. Jalen Brown with the rebound. He's got to know not to take that shot when he's so closely defended. Outside Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Johnson. The three from Tatum. You know, so much of rebounding is about effort, and no lack of that right there. He had to box out and establish great position. Vassell, the pass to Sohan. And the three ball is good. And just beating the open man. Nice recognition there from Vassell. Last game for the Spurs. They want to turn it around after the loss to Portland. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game. And they didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road. And they simply did not bring it. So it's San Antonio now. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Vassell, no good. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Now, here's Brown. Coming off a stellar performance against Toronto. Tatum, no good. San Antonio's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Branham, light covering. The 10 footer. And the shot goes in. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. A holiday. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Toronto. And Tatum the bucket on the assist by Holiday. Tatum's got 12 points in the game. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Pass to Collins. It's up a three, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now, you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Nailed from three-point land. He's got 15. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Collins, a screen on White. The pass to Collins. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see which players have had the most success from the strike this month. Fourth, Derek White. And during that time, guys, he's been an absolute dead-eye shooter from the free-throw line. His concentration just never wavers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. 
Doris, what we appreciate about the Celtics, typically they take good shots in the regular season. The record reflected that. The postseason, though, last year, a little different story. Kevin, they certainly have a coaching staff that is highly analytics driven, which obviously means very heavy emphasis on those three point shots and the ones right at the rim. But, you know, typically in the postseason, defenders take away your best options. Now, here is Holiday. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. The three from Tatum. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Branham, the pass to Sohan. Passes it to Collins. Inside. Here's Johnson. No good on the shot. Good D by Holiday. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Four point game. He dishes it to Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. Johnson against Holiday. Outside, Horford. Off target with his three. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Here's Branham. 11 points for him in that last game against Portland. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Bucket is good. He's going old school on him, Johnson, with the mid-range, a rarity in today's NBA. Outside, White. Back to Brown. The dish to Horford. The kick out to Holiday. The shot from 20 feet away. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. San Antonio calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Collins. 17 points for him last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Johnson outside. The three. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Horford with the screen on West. Here's Brown, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. Yeah, you gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. He's off on the first. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by number one improving his handle and number two becoming more efficient with his shooting he's done both he's always been a force in transition Jalen has been special of course we've talked about Boston's young talent for so long they've now become battle-tested veteran and it's incredible how young that that experience has taken hold they have had players build big roles in so many big games what a strong foundation and now you've just got to keep Building. And he'll take it right into the teeth of the D without thinking twice about it. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Shoots over Wesley. Busted. No good that time either. And 
Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. When you look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. From the basket by Jones. For Boston, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Richard passes to Hauser. Cornette kicks to Brown. Pass to Cornette. Stolen by Collins. In transition. Here come the Spurs. Pass to Wesson. Kicks it out to Johnson. For three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Pritchard passes to Horford. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 1.57 left in the first. Trains it from beyond the arm. Jalen Brown with Three. the immediate answer from three-point territory. Yes, sir. Jones looking for an opening on the pass to West. There's a screen by Collins. Johnson can't hit. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Now here's Jones after Jalen Brown's miss. And it's blocked. Here's Hauser. No scoring in this one from the arc. And Wesley pulls it down. San Antonio's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Horford against Jones. Passes it to West. Back to Jones. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Jones has got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Pritchard taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around seven and a half points a game. And the basket by Hauser. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Shot and game clock separated by five. Jones dishes to Johnson. Collins a screen on Worth. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. The Spurs have gone two of four at the free throw line. Antonio, Kelvin Johnson. One shot. It's easy to see why this team is excited about Johnson. He's a fantastic athlete with considerable upside. Outside Tatum. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. Keldon Johnson has been leading the charge for San Antonio. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play and let's take a moment guys to get your take on the scoring so far for San Antonio I, I like how they've worked the ball inside getting looks closer in there and that really helps your offense 
the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. And Ben Yama's out there with McDermott. Then it's Jones. Then it's Collins. And it's Wesley in at the two-guard spot. So that's who San Antonio starts the second one. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Jim Benyama sets a screen for Jones. No good there. Boston's got the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Richard passes to Cornett. To the inside. The Celtics working the ball around now. Richard gets the bucket. Richard's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Great. You look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. And a moment here to look at some of the stats for Jason Tatum. Averaging about 27 points per, eight rebounds and four assists. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. And the first one at the line is good. A generational talent. For Wimbenyama, the sky is the limit and the reality. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Collins. And the Celtics also making a change. Hauser's checked in. And he makes both free throws. And wants the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find Jason a way. Tatum. Tatum gets the bucket. Now, this is one of the best scorers in the game today. Jason Tatum, we're getting used to performances like this. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Here's Jones. And Boston with the rebound. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Drills the three-pointer. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And here's Jones after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Osman, the pass to Wembenyama. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pass to Pritchard. to Hauser and here is Tatum to the paint there's Cornette clock at four Horford no luck well they'll be happy with that look even though it didn't fall I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate now Tatum after the miss three from Doug McDermott and there's the pass to Cornette now Tatum, this one for three. Rem Benyama with the rebound. Here's Osman, scoreless thus far. And that one, good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Pritchard passes to Hauser. Here's Cornette, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And, Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be. And the Celtics making a change here. Here's Sohan. On the three off target. Celtics leading by four. 
Here's Pritchard. He kicks it to Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Four on the clock. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Holiday's got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. Here's Sohan. Pass to Wem Benyama. Here's Sohan. Dishes it to McDermott. Here's Sohan. Back to McDermott. Shoots the three. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Holiday. Outside Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Horford has a wide open look from outside off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Throw in the pass to McDermott. Rembenyama, right side. A three. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Well, how about the vision by Wembenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. The open shot by Tatum. Brenham pulls it in. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. It just comes up empty. So am the pass to Branham. The pass to McDermott. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. For San Antonio, they missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. And the Spurs making a change here. Johnson's checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. Brown, he's checked in for Horford. And it's wide in for Pritchard. And the free throw, no good. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? And it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. He said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like that. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. And the Spurs making a change here. Wesley's checked in. Here's Sohan. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Outside, White. Back to Holiday. Tatum on the wing. 11 feet out and he hits it. Now it's a four point Boston lead. Well, you love the way Tatum will take the mid range if it opens up to him. Passes to Wembenyama. Over Perzingis. Wembenyama gets the bucket. Wembenyama's got eight. The Celtics have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. The three from Tatum. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And the Celtics lead by five. And once again, the defense allowing him to get a clean look at that triple. He continues to do some big-time damage from downtown. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Rebounded by the Spurs. Ben Benyama has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Sohan. Pass to Wesley. Johnson with it. Ben Benyama, a screen. Johnson kicks to Wesley. Three-pointer. Rebound, Boston. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched 
by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Well, let's give some credit to the coaching staff as well, recognizing the weaknesses in that defense and going after each one of them. Now here's White. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Toronto. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Johnson. That one doesn't drop. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Right the basketball. And here's Holiday. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Spurs trail by seven. Here's Sohan. With the drive in the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall, both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Al Horford is checked in for Boston. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Celtics leading by five. And here's White. Hasn't made one yet. Screened by Porzingis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle as Derek White did there. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Here's Sohan, guarded by Holiday. Johnson for three. And Boston with the rebound. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Round against Vassell. White, wide open. He fired. Well, the shot's good. Brown making the play. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's Sohan. He has five. Johnson outside. Five to shoot. Three pointer. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. That's his first triple of the second period, third of the game. Brown against Vassell. Brown with the bucket. Brown's got six. Well, I tell you what, speaks to the toughness of Jalen Brown. That frame is strong. Pass to Branham. Johnson with it. Setting the big for Johnson. Jacks up a three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And that makes it two three quarters in the quarter so far and four for the game. Outside, White. Driving inside. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. 
path to Vassell. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Now, I'm not shy about bringing it inside. Vassell is comfortable around the hoop. We've got 118 left in the first half of the game. Spurs trail by six. Puts up a three. Porzingis with the rebound. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Holiday, the pass to Brock. Shot from 12. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. The assist. Holiday's got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Sohan, guarded by Holiday. Johnson outside. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Brown. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. They're getting their first look of the season at San Antonio in this one. Yeah, and they swept this matchup the two times they played last year. They held the advantage on paper and on the court. Well, a year ago, there was a big gap in talent between the two teams. But changes are always made, and we'll see how they match up this time around. San Antonio with the ball, following the three-pointer by Derek White. Collins dishes to Johnson. Here's Sohan, and it goes down two points. Sohan's got four points this quarter. And so it's Boston. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see something go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, Hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Hey there, everybody. Jason Tatum has put his stamp on this game, looking so dominant so far. Jason Tatum has it on automatic, Shaq. Not many players can score as easily as he does. I'm telling you, this guy is special. And the way he gets his buckets, so silky. It's pretty. There's nothing wrong with that. And there's more NBA action in store for us tonight. Here are the games tipping off later. Out in Indiana, it'll be the Pacers against the Knicks. That one tips off at 7 p.m. Eastern. Either team could come away with a W and win this one. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. For those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. On the floor for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Chris Stapps, Przingis is out there with Tatum. And it's Jason Holiday Tatum. in at the point guard. Boy, that jumper is as pure as it gets. Jason Tatum off a pass from his teammate makes easy work of it. Rem Benyama, a screen on Holiday. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jason Tatum. Second, and guys, I think the grind of the season is catching up with him a little bit. It, it comes across in his rebounding numbers. Over the past five games, they've taken a tumble. He seems to be wearing down a bit. Maybe tonight, though, he can get his legs back under him. And he makes the first. Yeah. 
And so he hits both. Celtics leading by 10. Now here is Holiday. Outside Tatum. Tatum gets it inside. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Pass to Vassell. Now Wembenyama. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on for Zingas. Smart play there. I don't think we get Wemby's IQ for the game enough love. But he was a pro in France at a young age. And that obviously gave him a lot of experience. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Outside, White takes the three. The rebound by Victor Wembenyama. Wembenyama's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Branham. A three ball. Connects from three-point range. Branham's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Spurs. Here's Tatum. Vassell grabs the board. Vassell's got four rebounds in this game. Tatum against Johnson. Pass to Branham. Six on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Vassell. Shoots over White. That one rolling around and rims out. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Holiday, the pass to Brown. Off target from outside. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Sohan, guarded by Holiday. Passes it to Wembenyama. A sell against Brown. Nice ball boomed by San Antonio. From deep three-point land. The sell, no good. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Now here's Tatum. He's got 32. Here's Persingas. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. And the Celtics lead by nine. You know, you can expect Porzingis to make a jumper like that whenever he takes one in rhythm. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. for Keldon Johnson. What? Averaging 17 points per game, six rebounds, and four assists. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Now here's Johnson. 19 points in the game. Pass to Branham. A three from Wembenyama. Rebound, Boston. Holiday's got four rebounds in this game. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Ah, Tatum an assassin. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Pass to Branham. Johnson against Tatum. Here's Sohan. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Sohan's got five points in the quarter. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They've held a 12-point lead early. San Antonio with the rebound. And Benyama's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are a powerhouse, but they also know they're going to get every team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. 
All-star Jalen Brown says comfort will kill you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. Kevin, I hope to earn success tonight with my sideline. <laughs> David, you are in the Hall of Fame, my man. You have earned it. Thank you so much. Tatum gets the bucket. How pretty was that turnaround? That is one of the slick moves in the business. Here's Sohan, guarded by Holiday. Branham, good. Branham's got seven. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Brown finds White. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Oh, Tatum finds a way! Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. So am the pass to Johnson. Mbenyama sets a screen for Johnson. Mbenyama outside. No oh, good with the triple. Celtics leading by nine. And you talk about a tough matchup doors for teams against this one. Kristaps Porzingis. He is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev. This guy has that rare combination of both size and skill. Increasingly more efficient. And when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. And the Spurs with possession here. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Zoham, the pass to Wembenyama. It's hauled in by Persingas. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. And White kicks to Holland. The pass to Tatum. For three. San Antonio with the rebound. Branham the pass to Sohan. Here's Wembenyama. Started by Porzingis. The dish now to Johnson. From the arc. Rebound by Drew Holiday. Holiday's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Brown now atop the key. Outside, Porzingis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How about Porzingis? Shrugs off the hit. That work in the weight room paying off already. It gotta love the time he's put in to make himself a challenge. Zach Collins checked in for the Spurs. And the Celtics also making a change. Al What's Horford up? is checked in for White. Boy, if there's one big man who exemplifies the evolution of size in the NBA, it's KP. Kristaps Porzingis can stretch the floor. He can get out and run in transition. It's a combination you almost have to have. Now, here's Vassell. And he uses the glass on the way. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Passes it to Persingas. Outside, Tatum. Into the lane, Tatum. He gets it in there. They are trying to close this out strong, and he's the man who's put you in this position. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. And that one falls for Tatum. Spurs trail by 16. Here's Branham. He's got seven. Here's 
show him. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got rebound number eight now on the night. That's to Persingas. Six to shoot. Outside Holiday. Let's it go from deep. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Branham. Fires the three. Good on the three-point shot. Branham's got eight points in the quarter. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Porzingis. He has five. Here's the pass to Brian. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. As we approach the halfway mark, let's take a look at how everything in the East right now stands. You look at Boston. They're looking extremely sharp right now. Boy, from the top spot, and playing very well. And you know, for the Celtics, uh, they've come through for their fans this season. All the optimism surrounding them, all the high hopes, all proved to be legit. Well, how about the momentum they have built to get off to this fantastic start? All positive vibes right now for this group. So it's the Spurs now. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Branham the pass to Sohan. Goes up at the stripe. Rebound, Boston. At one point, they led by 16. Outside, Tatum. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. Feeds it to Horford. Left side, Tatum. Shot from the wing. Oh, tough two from Tatum. Boy, there are times where Jason Tatum just seems unguardable. This guy with good coverage, it doesn't even phase him. Here's Sohan. 12 points for him. Passes it to Collins. Vassell with it. Wants to get it to Collins and does. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. I had a chance here to look at the numbers for Drew Holiday. He's putting up 13 points a game, six rebounds, and four assists. You know, you look at the numbers and you think that this is great, but we know that he's capable of even bigger production. You know, the numbers look okay, but the eye test tells us unequivocally he is capable of more. That is the sign of a star right there. And he's good on the three ball. Brown's got 11 points. You can see the work Jalen Brown has put in to become a range shooter. Nice. Benyama a screen launches a three and that comes off the assist by Joe 15 points for Victor Rembenyama and guys getting into a nice groove here starting to feel it and this is partly what the game has become right a matter of dueling three-point opportunities here's Jones driving to the basket and the layup falls he has six. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Brown outside. Horford with the screen on West. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Don't you love how physical Jalen Brown is? This guy is not afraid to draw contact. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. You think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Wembenyama. And it's Vassell in for Doug McDermott. And he's good on the second. There's 57 seconds left here in the third quarter. Now here's Jones. He's guarded closely. 
Purcell with it. Outside, Jones. Collins setting the pick for Jones. Inside. And finish off by Collins. And that's a little oh, lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And the basket by Vassell. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Brown against Wesley. Brown outside. Here's Pritchard. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. He's cashed in nine times from beyond the arc this game. Who knows how many threes he'll wind up with. Back to the action in just a minute. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Doug McDermott is out there with Wen Benyama. Then it's Collins. Then it's Jones. And it's Wesley in at the shooting guard position. That's the San Antonio five. Now here's Jones. Kicks it out to Collins. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his fifth assist in this one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Brown finds Horford. Outside Tatum. Let's it go with a three. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Spurs trail by 14. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake. A comedy of errors. That's the three fly. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Horford. A second chance effort. And he gets the bucket. Horford's got his first bucket in this one. Now Horford's shot is just so pretty. Doesn't get a ton of lift, but boy, is he accurate. Outside, Jones. Pass to Collins. Spurs passing it around. Rembenyama. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Pritchard passes to Tatum. From the line, the rebound by the Spurs. Rembenyama has got nine rebounds now tonight. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. The Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. That one misses. Boston leading by 12. 
game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Makes it off the glass. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Collins after the basket by Boston. Outside, Jones. Here's Wimbenyama. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Up top, Tatum. Covered by Wesley. Jones against Tatum. Outside, Horford. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Horford's got five points now in the quarter. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Wembenyama. Cowens finds McDermott. Now Wesley. The pass to Wembenyama. And he makes good on the way. Wembenyama has got 11 in the second half. They had a monster game for Wemby with the matchup issues he creates. I'm not sure anyone in this league can stop him when he's on. Tatum no good. Spurs trail by 15. Wesley the pass to Jones. Tries it from nine. And the Spurs scoring again. And now six straight points here coming on the inside. Here's Pritchard defended by Jones. And too long on the shot. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. And it's blocked. Here's Hauser. And stolen by Wendon Yama. Here's Wesley. Here's McDermott. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Doris, no one has their finger on the pulse of the lead like you. So, that being said, what do you think the next coaching trend is going to be? I think the current coaching trend has had such success, we may not see a change for a while. The trend is hiring young assistant coaches to get in charge of their own operation. Look no further than guys like Mark Dagno and Taylor Jenkins. These young guys have had tremendous success building out programs. I think it's something that's going to continue. I think I like the skill set of Doug McDermott. He's a phenomenal shooter, and he's got tremendous range. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Boston. And McDermott drops them both. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Outside, Tatum puts up a deep three. Boston again missing. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. And he trims the lead to single digits. And that's 21 points for Victor Wembenyama. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. And I'll call the Celtics. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Spurs making a switch here. Adams checked in. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Joe Mazzula was going over with his team. Now, he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said, so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys? Thank you, David. San Antonio with the ball. It's been eight unanswered points for him. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. And here's Holiday. Picked by Horford. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his seventh assist in the game. Here's Sohan. He dishes it to Johnson. And Benyama outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. 
Holiday against Michelle. Here's Pritchard. And again, Boston with the triple. Three pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. So am the pass to Branham. Passes it to Wembenyama. Rebound, Boston. Horford's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Pritchard. Now here's Tatum. Pass to Cornette. Fires for three. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Celtics lead by 18. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. Here's Branham, guarded by Holiday. Out to the wing. And Benyama, left side. Sinks that one from the post. Wembenyama has got eight here in the quarter. It is going to be hard to get a hand to Wembenyama's shots on the inside. Great instincts and just too much length. Now here is Holiday. Shoots from the right block. That misses off the backboard. Spurs trail by 16. Here's Sohan. To the left wing. A beautiful reverse layup. And that's now 25 points for Victor Wembenyama. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wemby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. Now here's Tatum. The Celtics working the ball around now. Outside Holiday. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Johnson surveying the floor. Rembenyama left side. Shot clock at six. There's the three. Barry's the long range jumper. Rembenyama has got 28 points for the game. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Now here is Holiday. And another one in the scoring Ooh, column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And he's got it all working for him tonight. Holiday's effort level and energy are off the charts. Rembenyama, right side. He can't get that one. Celtics leading by 16. Here's Pritchard. Tatum with it. Pass to Cornette. Over Wembenyama. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Here's Sohan. Excellent D there from Holiday. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Outside Tatum. Back to Holiday. They set the screen. A three-pointer off the mark. Spurs trail by 16. Vassell, no good. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Outside Holiday. Down low. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Now the pass to Vassell. Now Wembenyama. It's deflected. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tatum. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter, and he lays it straight in. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Now, here's Vassell. Pass to Branham. They could use a bucket. Good on the triple. An emerging part of his game. Johnson 
Watson's becoming a better playmaker. 130 left in the fourth quarter. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Celtics. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. Uh, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those, but, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally and the win column will be number 26 on the year. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jason Tatum. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Brown is checked in for the Celtics. That comes in for Pritchard. Holiday defense is right there. Here's Tatum. Sweet little floater. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got 54 points. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They led the game at one point by 20. Shoots over Johnson. Tatum no good. And San Antonio has possession. They trail by 16. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Zoham, the pass to Wembenyama. Count it. Wembenyama has got 30. Defenders try to knock Wimbayama off his rhythm, but he knows it's coming, and he's prepared for it. Tatum on the wing. Now Holiday. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They had kind of about the mental toughness of this game show. They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For